Hey there, my name's Amy Ash, and I'm going to teach you EFT in this video, which is an incredible tool for helping yourself calm down and get rid of the stress or anxiety that you're feeling in the moment. It's such a simple technique that once you watch and learn this video, you're gonna know how to use this tool anytime that you need it. It only takes just a couple of minutes to actually apply the technique once you know it. And it truly will bring down your stress and anxiety levels um, for most people when they're feeling it. So I also wanna share with you what some people are saying about EFT tapping. So Jack Canfield, who's the co-author of Chicken Soup for the Soul book series, has said that EFT is the most powerful new transformational technology to come along in years. Harvard Medical School psychiatrist, Dr. Leskowitz has said that EFT tapping is the most powerful intervention I've encountered in over 25 years of work. And EFT has been endorsed and promoted by many people, including Marie Forleo, Louise Hay, Tony Robbins, Deepak Chopra, Wayne Dyer, Ian LaVanzan, Daniel Laporte, and Gabriel Bernstein. And one of the reasons that EFT has grown so much in recent years is because it has been shown to be an effective treatment for PTSD and trauma. War veterans, refugees, and genocide victims, and victims of sexual abuse all over the world are being relieved of their symptoms of PTSD and trauma using EFT. That's how powerful it is. So what exactly is EFT tapping? Well, EFT is a simple step-by-step -step healing technique that eliminates negative emotions and beliefs by tapping on acupressure points on the body while thinking or talking about an issue. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques and is also known as tapping. And sometimes it's also referred to as an emotional form of acupuncture because we tap on the same points that are used in acupuncture. Now the reason that it works is because it clears the issue out of your energy systems and it also rewires your brain's response to the issue. So there's no need to take my word for it. Let's just get in and do some tapping and learn the technique. Okay, so the first step of the process is to check in with yourself and see how you're feeling. And if you want, you can rate it on the scale from zero to 10. So even right now, just close your eyes and check in on how you feel as far as stress and anxiety goes and rate it on the scale from zero to 10. Notice how you feel in your body. Um, zero being no tension at all, no stress and 10 being, you know, it's, it's the highest you can imagine. So go ahead and rate that on the scale, and then we're gonna get started. So the first step with EFT, after you rate it and identify what you're gonna work on, is to tap on this acupressure point on the side of your hand. And we call it the karate chop point because it's exactly where you would karate chop something um, if you're into that kind of thing, okay? So you can use two fingers or you can use your whole hand, and some people even like to do this, it's not necessary. It's just pick, pick one of your hands and tap on it. Now, when you're tapping on this point, you're actually stimulating energy. So you don't want to tap super lightly and you don't have to hurt yourself. Just tap, you know, a pretty good pressure. And you're going to tap on this while you say this statement three times. And I'm teaching you the very basic EFT process. Um, you can change up the words, but you could also just use what I'm teaching you right now. So the statement is, even though I, and you fill in the blank with whatever's going on for you, whatever's bothering you, I love and accept myself. It's a pretty big statement, right? So even though I have all this stress and anxiety, I love and accept myself. Now you're gonna say this setup phrase three times. So we'd say that again. Even though I have all this stress and anxiety, I love and accept myself. Even though I have all this stress and anxiety, I love and accept myself. Okay, so that's the first big step in the tapping. And now we're gonna move through eight different points, um, acupressure points in the body that we're gonna tap on. And we want to say what we call a reminder phrase. The reminder phrase is just a shortened version of that setup statement. It's kind of um, really focused in on the issue that you're working on. And so we just say that reminder phrase to help us stay tuned into the issue. So the whole EFT process is all about tuning into the issue at hand while we stimulate these acupressure points, which sends a signal to our brain that says, hey, we don't need to go into the stress response. We don't have to feel stressed about this. 
So it in fact calms that fight or flight response, that stress response in your body. And we're essentially taking whatever problem we're working on and rewiring it so that you don't feel the stress, the increased heart rate, the sweaty palms, the nervousness, all the, the hormones that are released in your bloodstream, all the stuff that's bad about stress that happens. Okay, so as we tap on these points, we're gonna say a reminder phrase that connects us to the issue that we're working on. In this case, we're working on stress and anxiety, right? So the first point is on top of the head. If you can use your whole hand, you're gonna tap on it. And you just tap maybe between five and 10 times. You could tap more, it wouldn't hurt you. But while you're tapping, tapping on that, you would say, stress and anxiety, or I feel really stressed and anxious, okay? And then the next point is on the tip of your eyebrow that's closest to the bridge of your nose. So either eyebrow, doesn't matter which, some people like to use both, but you could do one or the other. And you would say, I feel really stressed and anxious. So again, just saying a phrase to keep you tuned in. And then on the outside corner of either eye, doesn't matter which, on the bone, it's the next point. And if you did this side over here, you could switch to the side for the next point. It doesn't matter, or you could do both. And you would say, I feel stressed and anxious. And then you would do it below your eye on the bone, right in the center, either eye. I feel stressed and anxious. Next point is below the nose. Tap on that. I feel stressed and anxious. And then the next point, we call it the chin point, but it's in fact, it's this crease on your chin. So you tap there and you'd say, I feel stressed and anxious. And then the next point is called the collarbone point. So to find it, if you find this notch in your neck and you just put your fingers here, right, just like I'm doing, and you go down about an inch, and then you go out to either side about an inch, in this area are two points. They're called the collarbone points, and you only need to tap on one, or you can do both, again. You can, what I do as a trick is I just use my whole hand, and I just tap on both of them. So if you just tap in this area, you're gonna hit them, and you'd say, I feel stressed and anxious. And then the final point is below the armpit on either side, doesn't matter which. Some people like to reach around. Some people like to use their hand on the same side of their body. But it's about, about a hand's width below your armpit on your side. So I typically use my whole hand, go like this. And you'd say, I feel stressed and anxious. So now we've just tapped through the eight points. And now what you can do is check in and see how you feel on that scale. Check back in with whatever you're working on and rate it on that scale from zero to 10. But most of the time what we do, as soon as we get down to this last point, we just go right back up to the top of the head and we keep tapping through the eight points until we kind of feel better. And as you notice, I mean, you can tap through these points pretty quickly. So you can do a few rounds of EFT in just a couple of minutes. And then you can check back in and see how you feel. And if you start back up and you do a second round, you just come back here and you start over. And you do the whole process over. And you say three times and you tap on the points. Now, one of the most common questions is, well, do I have to go in a certain order on the points? No, you don't. And in fact, if you do a Google search and you look at other people out there, they may be doing um, tapping on the points in a different order. It doesn't matter what order you go in. The reason that I start from the head and end on below the armpit is because that's what I've memorized and I know I can just do it every time. Because what we're trying to do when we tap on these points is cover enough of the body's energy systems so that we rewire our response to this problem so that we clear the energy systems of the issue of whatever we're feeling. Okay, so now let's just go through it one more time where we're gonna do it all together, okay? So I'm not gonna stop, we're just gonna keep going through it. So tapping on the side of the hand, you just repeat after me. Even though I have all the stress and anxiety, I love and accept myself. Even though I have all the stress and anxiety, I love and accept myself. Even though I have all the stress and anxiety, I love and accept myself. I have all this stress and anxiety. All 
all this stress and anxiety. 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 Okay, now take a nice deep breath in and close your eyes. And just check in and see how you feel on that scale from zero to 10. And if you still are feeling pretty amped up, you just would repeat it over and over until those levels come down. You wanna get down to at least a three or less on that scale, because typically the rest kind of ends up going away. So feel free to play around with this, use it anytime. You can tap, you know, anytime it's so easy you don't need a quiet space you can some people like to do it while driving or while showering or anything so you got to use it in order to get the benefit but i strongly encourage you to play around with it thanks so much and have a good day